I don't even know you. You are a stranger, stranger danger. I'm like, what? Maybe. Well, no smoke with hood, but I'm classy. Rich, but I'm ratchet. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. I'm a boss, I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Nigga got this shit from Tina. I'm a savage. Hey, y'all, what's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. It is your Sarah Brand Nappy Zanana. And let's make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Duh. So, in today's video, I filmed a story time for y'all. Um, it's a little more on the serious side, I guess. Um, it's about the time I was stalked or followed by a stranger all the way from Charlottesville to D.C. So, if you want to hear how that story went and what I experienced, then keep on watching and be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, and I also flicked the fuck out of my makeup. So, if you want to see how this turned out, then keep on watching. Hey, you guys. Welcome back. So, let's jump right into it. So, I'm excited for this video, okay? Because I can't even understand how I forgot about this story time. Like, literally, y'all was asking for story times and I literally forgot all about this. But, we gonna tell y'all to see today, okay, honey? Because it was real. It was serious. It literally happened. I was scared. It was not okay. And I'm sure a lot of people out there can relate to stories like this, unfortunately. So, we gonna get into all the drama, girl, because it was a fucking mess, alright? But first, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And I'm going to come right back, okay? So, no brows. And brows, okay? So, if you're interested to see how I do my brows in terms of grown... I said grooming. In terms of grooming, shaping, plucking, tweezing, all of that. Um, it'll either be at the top or in the description box below. That's literally the last video I put out was a full in depth from beginning to end eyebrow tutorial. So make sure you tune in and check it out, okay? So now that my brows are done, I'm basically just gonna be like showing y'all what products I'm doing, but I'm really not gonna be talking about it because it's not a makeup tutorial. It's a story time, okay? So this happened what year? This was 20. This was 2018. This was my third year of college. I was, at the time, I was in Charlottesville, okay? So, if you don't know, I went to the University of Virginia for undergrad. Now, when I was at school, um, I took two classes during a summer session, back to back. Now, I was staying in these apartments called the Flats. The Flats are right next to the Amtrak train. Um, I was in a good mood. I remember this day. I had just finished, um, like the day before, I had just finished my first session. And I knew I was going to get an A in the class because, you know, I did all my work. I had just finished my final. I had just finished my final and I knew all the answers. So I was excited. I knew I was going to get a good grade. So I am on cloud nine right now, okay? Like, I'm in a good ass mood. And I was going home because I remember it was my best friend's Aaliyah birthday. She was turning what? 20, uh, she had to have been turning 20. 21 or 22. She was either turning 21 or 22. My memory is so trash, I can't remember. She was turning 21. She was turning 21 that year. Yeah. Yeah. Right? No. Girl, anyways, I was going to her place. So, if you know me, you know I pack very, very heavily. Right? Okay, so keep that in mind. Y'all, I don't know how to pack lightly. I just don't know how to. Literally... I had like a big duffel bag with all my clothes in it. Then I had like my purse or my tote bag with like my computer and my camera. Because you know, YouTubers, you can't travel lightly all the time. So I had my camera, my camera charger. I had a little mini ring light. Like I had all of my stuff. I probably had like three bags and some food because I'm fat and I'm going to eat on the train. So I was struggling. I probably look like I was struggling, but I'm used to this shit, okay? Um, I'm gonna make sure they're dry. So I'm standing at the Amtrak and I remember I had on some sweatpants, a blue UVA shirt on and some slats. And my toes was done and it was out because it was May. And um, cause my, my friend's birthday is May 29th. So it was late May, it was warm. I'm in Charlottesville, it was probably hot actually. So, yeah. And oh my god, I'm proud of myself because my memory is trash. So the fact that I remember all this, this is good. So y'all, I'm standing there, right? Standing at the Amtrak. And this guy walks up to me. 
He's African American. I'm African American. And you know, we're in Charlottesville. So it was a lot of the whites around, you know. And he had walked up to me and asked me what train number was this. Because he was trying to make sure he was on the right side, right? So y'all, I'm in a really good mood. Like I said, and you know, if I'm one of the only black people around and you're black and you have a question, I have no problem with you coming up to me. Even if we're not in that situation, I have no problem with you coming up to me. I didn't think he was going to be on no creep shit. Because, like, that's not my initial thought, you know, that one of, one of my good bros is going to be on some creep shit. That's, that wasn't my initial thought, you know. So, I was like, yeah, this is regional, whatever the train was. And he was like, okay, I'm just trying to make sure it's going in the right direction. So, what direction you going in? The, that was his exact question, right? So, the direction of my train was New York. But that, however, was not my destination. I didn't have to tell him my destination was two or three stops before in D.C. I didn't have to tell him that. I was just like, yeah, you on the right side. It's going to New York. That's all I had to say. You know, I be, I be trying to be on my P's and Q's. Um, like I said, I didn't assume, I didn't want to assume that he was creepy, which I should have because he was, but, um, you know, I was just being nice. I was, he called me on a good day and he asked a regular ass question. So I gave him the answer, but not too much information of like my personal information. Right. Okay. Boom. So he was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I thought I was running late for my train. I was on that side. and It's only two sides of the station. And it's a very dead station. Like, Charlottesville, come on, it's not a lot of people. You could have easily went inside and asked someone, you feel me? But you want to ask me, okay. Anyway, so the train pulls up, boop, boop. Y'all know I pack heavy. So usually I try to stand in the exact spot that I need to. So I don't have to walk with all my shit. I think I'm going to go in with... Some NARS today. I think I'm going to go with NARS. I usually use NYX, but that I'm running low. And Fitzy is amazing, but she's a little thick. So I'm going to go in with NARS today for foundation. But anyways, that's what I was saying. So, um, so the train pulls up and usually I'm trying to stand right exactly where I need to because I like to sit on the silent cart because I just don't want nobody talking to me. But apparently this time the daggone train was different and that, that area that pulled up to me was for first class. I didn't pay for first class ticket. The train ride is only like two hours long. So I was like what the heck. So now I had to walk all the way down the station. With all of these heavy bags and stuff. So, I'm frustrated. And he was, like, um, trying to help me out with my stuff. And I was like, you know, no thank you. I got it. Because I didn't want him following me to the cart, y'all. But he fucking insisted. And usually there's, um, there's usually, like, people that stand on the train. The, the Amtrak workers help you get your stuff onto the train. Um, but there was someone who, um, needed wheelchair accessible, the wheelchair accessible area. So the person had like got off of the train to help them. So now there's no person to help me, which is perfectly fine. You know, please prioritize them over me. But y'all, I was struggling with all my stuff. And this guy, it's not like he crazy big, but he's a man at the end of the day. So he was like, you need help with that. And I was not about the front because I definitely did need help. So I was like, yeah, do you mind holding this while I get on the train and I can get it from you? He was like, no problem. So we did all that. Now I'm walking on the train. I'm trying to find a seat. So I'm trying to find a seat. Not too close to the bathroom because that's just thing. You know, not too close to the, to, the, to the food cart because people be doing too much up there making noise and whatnot. I'm trying to sit in the middle. I need a window seat. You know, so I'm scoping out the train and whatnot. I'm out of my business. Y'all, this man is following me the whole time on the train. And he asked if he could sit next to me. I wanted to say no so bad. But after he helped me with my stuff. And like I said, I wasn't assuming that he was a creep. I was like, sure, why not? And I regret it until this day. It was one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life. Y'all. Y'all. Y'all don't understand what this man motherfucker put me through on a motherfucker train. So... I sit down and immediately I put my earphones in because no, nah, you wanted to sit by me, sure that's fine, but you're not you're not finna talk to me like no, like when I tell y'all this man told me every single thing about him and this is where the story gets good 
Because I wasn't even trying to fucking listen. But he insisted on telling me about his life. So he sat down and he put his phone out. And he was talking to me about how he wants to do music. How he got this little job right now. Uh, I'm also like just letting my concealer sit for a little bit. Because it gives me better coverage. But anyways. He sat down and was telling me about his little job he got. It's a 9 to 5. He working from paycheck to paycheck. But that's really not what he want to do. He's going to New York right now for an interview. And whatnot. He did not look interview ready at all. But you know that's none of my business. Um, and he was like, he's trying to make it. He's trying to do music. He's trying to just spend the third. He was trying to follow me on social media. And I was like, I don't got that. I wasn't lying. I was like, I don't got that. He was like, you don't got no IG. You don't got no Snapchat. I was like, no. And I was trying to say stuff like, you know, I was lying. And obviously this don't even make sense. Because I wouldn't be with a man who, you know, don't want me to have so certain social media. It's like, that's the dumbest thing in my life. But I was like, no, nah, my boyfriend don't be playing that. He don't like me having none of that stuff. You know, I'm trying to... Try to make homeboy get off my back, okay? Because he was getting on my nerves. He was like, oh, yeah, my baby mama be, be wilding out, too. She don't want me to have half the stuff I got. But she ain't gonna stop me. She ain't gonna stop me. And I was just like, okay, sir. <laughs> okay. Speaking of his baby mama, she called him on FaceTime. Remind you, we are on the silent car. He don't got no earphones. He's on FaceTime talking to his baby mama reckless. Y'all, he was trying to put me in the camera. Y'all, he was like, he was like, he he turned to me and was like, hold on, hold on. This is my baby mother calling because he was talking to me about some shit. So he was like, hold on, this is my baby mother calling. I cool, I cool. I was like, nigga, I cool. What the fuck I need to act any type of way for? Like, have your conversation. I'm... I have no parts. He was like, ah, cool. I was really dumbfounded, so I was just sitting there like, huh? Then he get the argument with his baby mom talking about something. I'm not giving you no more money. Da -da 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 -da. I'll already pay half your rent. I don't need to live with you. What the fuck I look like giving you money to do X, Y, and Z? Any money I give you need to go to our daughter, need to go to our daughter. I take care of her, not you. You just want to be with me. I don't want to be with you. I got a new girl. And he proceeds to turn his motherfucking phone to me. <laughs> Nigga, I am not your girl. I don't even know you. You are a stranger. Stranger danger. I'm like, what? I was like, uh-uh, 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 back up. I was like, back up. Like, back up. At this point, I'm getting annoyed because, like, why the fuck would you put me in the camera, yo? Like... What are you doing? Like, that's just, that's just, that was just absurd to me. That was beyond me, you feel me? So now I'm irritated. So now I'm trying to, like, give off a stank attitude. Like, please stop talking to me, sir. Sir, Mr. Sir, you're getting on my nerves. So, y'all, we aren't even 15 minutes into the, into the train ride. And I'm not even done. So, we're sitting down. I have my laptop out. And I am trying to do some editing right so even if i knew the person that was sitting next to me i would still like tilt my uh my computer to my way so no one else would see it but i'm i'm like this at this point my motherfucking laptop is like this to me because i don't want him knowing any of my business i don't want a text message to pop up i don't want him to see what i'm talking about i don't want no parts to this crazy man sitting next to me so i'm trying to mind my business and he's still talking to me and now he's flirting so he was like, man, you look good. I can't believe you don't got no social media, blah, say, blah. Still trying to get my personal information. I'm just like, yep. I'm not even saying thank you to the compliments. I'm just like, yep. It ain't for me, bro. <laughs> like, now I told you I had my laptop out. And I told you the outfit I had on earlier, right? And like a UVA, like, little blue shirt pullover thing. And I had on some sweatpants. And mind you, I'm on my laptop, and my laptop at the time had all these UVA stickers on it and whatnot. It's obvious that I'm a UVA student. So he's trying to flirt, trying to make conversation and whatnot. He's like, so you go to UVA? What you majoring in? Da, da, da. And I was just like, yeah, I go there, but yeah. I was just trying to be like so standoffish, and it was not working. He was like, I'm about to go to the snack cart. You want something? I was like, no thing. Oh, he was like, they taxing up there. <laughs> he was like, man, you can't believe it. They taxing up there. I'm trying to get you and me some snacks and shit. They talking about, man, this shit cost blah, say blah. Do y'all know this man had the motherfucking nerds who asked me for $5?
So, y'all, he sits back down and he's complaining about the motherfucking snack situation. But then he was like, man, let me call my baby mother and see if she could transfer me some money on Cash App. So, he gets his phone and he goes to pick it up but his phone dies, okay? His phone dies and he was like, damn, my shit, my shit not even charged and I don't have a charger. I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck travels without a phone charger? I have an iPhone. He didn't ask me for a charger. He asked if he could call his homeboy for something, right? I really just wanted this man out of my motherfucking face, so I gave him my phone. I should have thought twice about it. And I shouldn't have let it happen. But anyways, let me tell y'all what happened. So he takes my phone and he calls me. I mean, he calls the person. He calls right next to me. And there's no answer. I can hear it. He called on mobile. I heard it and it just wasn't no answer. So he gave the phone back to me. He was like, damn, never mind. Maybe it's just not my motherfucking day to do to get anything done. He said something like that. We are a little bit closer to my destination now. And he's... Sorry. He's... So he's um back to getting on my nerves and talking to me, right? So I'm being quiet and he's like, you're so beautiful. You're this, that, and the third. What you mix with? Where are you from? You you got a boyfriend. How long you and your boyfriend been together? And I was just like getting annoyed. So I'm like, why do you have so many questions? He was like, damn, little mom, I'm just trying to make conversation with you, feel me? You know, you, you look good. I'm just trying to make conversation with you. And I was like, yeah, all right. So he then asked to see my phone charger after, like, an hour. Um, and I let him I let him see it because I want this man to be, I just want him to be focused on something else but me. So he get back on his phone. And now he's on the phone with his bro. And he's telling his bro, he like, he was like, he was like, bro, I, I met the one. I met the one, yo. I met the one. She did, she that. And he's just explaining my physical appearance. He's like, brown skin, nice hair, da 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 da. I met the one. And I'm just like, so now I'm irritated. And now I'm confused because he sounds like, a fucking weirdo he sound like a creep at this point so now my whole entire guard is up and I'm just like not for it I got 30 more minutes on the train I'm just trying to wait this shit out I always go somewhere with something rather it's my taser my blade my pepper spray next thing you know I'm gonna get a baby Glock because these niggas out here be crazy and I need I need to have that thing to pop somebody just in case okay so I was prepared to do what I had to do, but you know, I was just trying to be quiet and you know let let the let the train go by as quick as possible. So I don't remember. Is it Fairfax or Arlington? I don't know. It's a it's a location. It's a stop before DC, and whenever that stop gets close. All the operators on the train and whatnot and all the people who work for Amtrak, they start going around and checking off everyone's um, ticket because they're about to make sure that people get off at the right stops and no one misses their stop and whatnot. So when when you're on an Amtrak, the people who work there, they write, they, after, you, after they scan your ticket and whatnot, they'll write your destination on a little piece of paper and they'll stick it at the top of where your seat is. So mine obviously said DC, his obviously said New York, right? So the people are saying, you know, my stop is coming up. So I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So I'm about to get up and whatnot. And... He gets up, obviously, because I was in a window seat, so he had to get up to let me off. And as I'm getting my stuff, he was like, you know, let me help you get, his, get your stuff down. And next thing you know, he's taking his bag down, too. And at this point, I wasn't even paying attention because I'm trying to make sure I don't leave anything on the Amtrak. Because if you leave anything on Amtrak, girl, it's done for you. You're just never going to see it again. So, you know, I, um... Do I want to put concealer on my eyelids? I think I do because I want this to look pigmented. 
Y'all, I'm nervous because I'm literally about to put my eyeshadow on once my whole face is done. But I have faith in myself. So, he's getting his stuff down too. And I'm like, maybe he about to change seats. Maybe he about to, um, maybe he's about to put it in the seat that I was sitting in. Let me not worry. I'm not trying to miss my motherfucking stop. So, I'm brushing off the train. And I'm trying to get away from him as quick as possible. So, I wasn't worried about what he was doing. But I'm off the train now at this point. I got me and all my three, four, five bags with me. And I'm walking down the Union Station ramp. I turn around and he's following me. Remind you, this man said, I'm going to New York. I'm really confused as to why this man got off the motherfucking train in D.C. Because that wasn't his location. Um, right now, I'm about to show y'all the, the palettes I'm using at, all at once because I'm going to dibble and dabble into different ones. So, I want to do a yellow look. So, I think I'm going to start with this color right here. And then I'm going to go into the Subculture palette. I may use this yellow. All my palettes are so dirty. Excuse them. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. Oh, the first one was Jaclyn Hill. I don't know if I said that. Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Palette. Second one was Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. And this is the next Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I'm probably going to use either that yellow or that orange. So we're going to see how this goes. Let's hope it comes out okay. Alright? So y'all, I'm trying to book it off the motherfucking platform. And this guy is literally following me. So I really didn't know what to do. Honest to God, I didn't. Like, I don't know if y'all ever been in a situation... Where you're literally scared for your fucking life. And it's like you experience fight or flight panic mode. At this point, I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. I kind of know what's going on. I know I'm being fucking followed. Now, mind you, it was my best friend's birthday. And that's the reason why I was going home. So, literally, I was trying to get her a little, a little cute, chill birthday present before arriving to her place. See, there's H&M in... And you and your station, there's a, uh, I was about to say Forever 21. There's a, a pink or Victoria's Secret in there and stuff. So, oh, this is cute. I like this. So, I'm shopping and whatnot. And, y'all, this man followed me from H&M. This man followed me to Victoria's Secret. And he's just following me. Now, I'm getting sick and tired. Because, nigga. I wasn't about to get on the regular, like, Metro after Amtrak. That was too much. I'm bougie. Every time I get off of Metro, I mean, every time I get off of an Amtrak train, I get an Uber to my destination. This man was not about to find out where the fuck I live or my best friend live flopping up. So, I was starting to put my motherfucking foot down. I was like, yo, what's good with you? Like, you need something? What do you need from me? What do you want from me? I started kirking, like... I was like, what's up? Like, you been following me for a brick now, my nigga. Like, what's good with you? What's good? Like, what? 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 And he was like, he was like, he was like, man, calm down, man. Calm down. I told you what I was doing. Da, 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 da. I was like, stop. Stop fucking playing with me. And I walked to, like, where a guard was. Because, like, they be posted in Union Station for some reason. Y'all, like, how was I supposed to defend myself? He is a big man. Like, how was I supposed to defend myself? So I walked up to where Gar was, and I was like, like, I feel like you're following me. I just started kirking, and, like, he, like, backed off because I was near the guard. And, um, he had, like, stormed off and went in a completely different direction. And that's when I decided to get the fuck. When I tell y'all I called my Uber so motherfucking fast, and I was in the car the whole time checking my back because he made me that uncomfortable. Like, oh, I was so sick. I was so sick. I get in the um the Uber truck or whatnot, and my phone started going off. It's missed call after missed call after missed call after missed call after missed call, miss call from this same number. I answered and it was silent. So I was like, "What the fuck?" So it texted me. The text message said, "Where you going?" So I blocked it. I was like, "I'm already on edge." So I was like, but I was confused because this nigga never got, me. I never, he never asked me for my number. I never gave him my number. So I'm like, huh? I'm literally just scratching my motherfucking head like, what's going on? 
So I ain't even question it. I just blocked the person. I put I put them on block list. So then I get a FaceTime from a Yahoo account, but I still didn't know who it was. And people just don't be reaching out to me via FaceTime if you ain't book an appointment or you not like my real close peoples. So once again, I didn't answer. And then they text me and was like, this is so-and-so. I don't even remember the person. I don't even remember his name. He told me his name. Um, he was trying to get me to follow him on Face on I mean on Instagram, but I didn't have I told him I didn't have an Instagram. So I remember his name then and he said it in the text. So bitch, I'm like, what the fuck? Because I never gave him my number. I never gave him my number. How do you have my number? Like I was so shook. I couldn't even check to make sure my Uber driver was on the right path on Uber, on the Uber app because every single time I was trying to look at my phone, he would call, he would call, he would call, he would call. And now I'm getting scared because how the fuck did you get my number and you're blowing my shit up? Like, that's some real ass creepy ass shit. So, I, I answered one of the phone calls. It was a mobile and I was like, stop f calling me. You don't know who the f I am and you don't know who the f I know. I will literally make some shit happen. Like, stop fucking playing with me. Like, I'm probably gonna get me mom's ass all this cussing. Let me try to bleep it out. But, um, yeah, I went off and I blocked the number because what are you doing? Like, that's not okay. You don't do that to people. Like, what? What did I do to deserve that? I was nice to him. I didn't give him attitude or none of that. You just want to be on your creepy ass shit. Um, I'm probably about to finish the eye look off camera. I'm going to add some falsies and I'm going to come right back, okay? So, before lashes, lashes and eyeliner and some more. I kind of like just got into the groove, so I just started doing whatever I felt was necessary. So, yeah, I'm feeling the look now and it's cute. Ah, okay, so now I'm going into lip and then we're done for the look for a uh, Back to the um story time. So, like I was saying, I think where I left off, I was in an Uber and I went off on him. Like, I was fed the fuck up and I was really scared, really nervous, and really confused. Like, all this man rolled out, pulled one over on me. Basically, I put two and two together. When he asked to see my phone, it's a piece of hair. Hold on, let me land my lip real quick. So, um, how rude for my camera to just cut off. Um, I don't know where exactly i left off at but to wrap it up slim stole my number when he called his homeboy his bro his friend for something when his phone had died on the train that nigga called himself that's what i'm assuming i feel as though the man called his oh <laughs> y'all he called himself from my phone so he would have my number saved. I don't know if that man phone was dead or he just turned it off or he just turned the brightness down and put it on silent. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did. But he called himself. Real quick, I never did this before. I want my lips to look a little bit lighter, but I this is the lightest nude I have, which is kind of sexy by Max. So I'm going to try to put on some concealer on my lips and see if that makes it lighter. I never did this before, so we're gonna see. But I saw someone do this before. Oh! Oh! <gasps> it's cute! I don't want too much, so I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna go back in with some more liner. But that's cute! I see the vision, I see the vision. I'm gonna top it with gloss, anyways. But yeah, uh. Long story short, Shorty was crazy. He really threw me off. He almost ruined my day. But I was like, you ain't about to ruin my day on my best friend's birthday. So when I pulled up to my best friend, I told her the story. And she was like, bruh, we got to be careful. Like, that's all she was saying. It's like, we got to be careful. Like, just be careful, y'all. Be safe. Pray before and after you get anywhere. I don't care if you want on a train or a plane. Girl, just pray that you get this safe, okay? Because... People was crazy, okay? People are crazy. And basically, that is the story time of the time where I was 
literally stalked and followed from Charlottesville, Virginia to DC. I don't know where that man is. Oh, until this day, I will get text messages from random numbers like, we gonna meet again. And I just be like, who the fuck is this? They won't say no name. They won't say nothing else. They won't say hi. They'll just send weird stuff like, we gonna meet again. Or I'll get a text message saying, um, saying I miss you. I'm gonna see you again. Like, it's always something. I'm gonna see you again. I'm gonna see you again. And <laughs> let a nigga see me again. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, okay? Let a nigga see me again, all right? So, I'm done with my makeup. I think it's really, really cute. I'm gonna go change my outfit so I can take some pictures for the thumbnail and whatnot, some stuff into the gram. So, I'm gonna be right back, okay? Okay, you guys. So, we are back and better. Um, That really wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the look that I did for y'all. So, I'm trying to zoom in and show y'all the makeup look. But basically, this is what we got. I hope y'all liked it. If you want to see how I did my liner and all that, then comment down below if you want like a detailed makeup tutorial. I can definitely do that for you guys. Are we still focused? Okay. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this crazy ass story time for real, for real. Um, but basically, this was just a testimony of what I experienced. If y'all experienced anything similar, comment down below. Let's have a chit chat about it. Um, I hope y'all haven't though because it was very scary and I don't wish this on nobody because girl people are actually crazy and it's not okay so without further ado make sure that you guys like comment share and subscribe i'm not sure where we at right now but we're very very close to 30,000 subscribers and that's out of this world to me that's amazing i thank y'all so 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 much so yeah my edges all popping up okay let me go take some pics and i'll see y'all in the next video okay bye mamas